Philippians 2, 14 through 18. Yes, 14 through 18. Do all things without murmurings and disputing. We as Christians, we argue all the time. We fight against what God wants us to do. We spread gossip. We spread rumors. We know what God wants us to do most of the time. There's certain things we have to learn through prayer, but most of the things God wants us to do, we know already. We don't need to whine and complain about them. We just need to do them. We shouldn't try to have problems with other Christians. Yes, we'll have disagreements about other things, and certain issues might become a problem. Scripture states certain issues that Paul had that was a problem, and he brought up him and Paul and I tried to we each other to do their dispute. But I don't think Paul was saying poking, trying to have this dispute come up. It just came in the Lord used it to have them separate so they could do more divided. Paul was able to do more and Parmas was able to do his thing. Paul was able to mentor Timothy through this time. But the fact is, moment in dispute will happen. We're just not to encourage them. Oftentimes, through murmuring, through spreading gossip, through whining and complaining about certain things or certain people, these disputes are aggravated and are more likely to happen. Verse 15, that all of you may be blameless and har harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of, the, of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom all of you shine as lights in the world. That nation was wicked. Is completely after the world. We see today our country is seeking things in the world, pushing issues of sin because the world accepts them. Our country feeds on greed and self indulgence. We as Christians are to be separate from that. We're to live of Christ. We don't need to push our faith. We need to stand up for it. But if we're living our faith, it's going to be shown. If we're not doing these things and accepting these things of sin that the world accepts, well, it's going to be shown. It's common to do certain things. Some people go drinking after work on Friday. Christ, to not do it and to go home to sustain a stand they might notice and then be like, oh, he don't go because he's Christian. The life's been shown and opportunities came. Just being different, just not being a part of the darkness, our light will shine. We're not to go into dark places to let our light shine. Christ may take us into some. But we are to. The world's full of darkness. We're not to be overtaken by the darkness. By that, we're not to fall victim to the sins of this world. We as Christians ain't going to be perfect. We're sinners saved by grace. But we should be trying to overcome sin. And by doing this, the light of Christ will shine through our lives. Get verse 16. 
holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, and that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. So Paul is saying here, I hold true to the word. We as Christians, the word is what we need to stand by. The word is our power. The word will guide us and direct us by Christ showing us. The word offers encouragement. The word offers chastisement when we need it. Paul is particularly referring to the fact that when he saw Christ, it would be all worth it. All he had to go through would be worth it when he saw Christ. This will be the same for us. All the struggles, all the things we overcome in this life will be made worth it when we see our Lord. Verse 17. Yea, and I have. Yea, and if I be offered on the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with all of you. Paul is a martyr. He died because of his faith. Paul didn't look at that as something he wanted to avoid. I'm sure it was something he didn't want to go through. But because it was where Christ led him, him dying for his faith, that's something to praise about. He didn't die of old age. He died continually doing what God called him to do, preaching the gospel. That was something to rejoice not in Paul about. We rejoice to God about Many of us aren't going to die as martyrs. But there's those. But if we're like Paul and we have to choose to serve God or choose our life, we need to choose to serve God because without serving God, our life is nothing. And Paul knew that, and that's why he rejoiced. Verse 18. For the same cause also do all for the same cause also do all of you joy and rejoice with me. One of the purposes of church is to share praises with one another. Receive encouragement with one another. Share our testimonies with one another. And rejoice with one another in the Lord. This strengthens our walk in Christ. Okay. Judges. Judges 2 9. 2-6, my mistake, 2-6. And Joshua sent the people away, and the sons of Israel went, each went to his own inheritance to possess the land. You know, God gave them this land to possess. It was a blessing from God. God gives us our blessings. The greatest is Him. All we gotta do is receive it. Receive it by making Him Lord and following Him. There's a piece of land we're entitled to at, when we come down. There's a piece of land we're entitled to when we've been given a heavenly land. But to get there, we have to follow Him. Israelites. That's where their mistake was here. Would be. They turned, they followed God, but then they turned away. 
pumpkin time for that same morning. I'm very thankful for God a second here. 